Welcome everybody. Thanks for coming tonight to a Board of Education meeting for our um, third, yeah, Tuesday. That's right, it's Tuesday, August 22nd, 2017. Okay, we can call the roll, please. Ms. Arnold? Here. Ms. Hunt will be late. Mr. Morrison? Here. Ms. Romano? Here. Mr. Taylor? Here. You have a quorum. Joel, please stand for the pledge. To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
I don't expect us to set that tonight, but I uh, figured if we start with that date and if everybody can see if that date works for them, and uh, I will send out a follow-up email this week uh, just to make sure that if, if that date works. If that doesn't work, we'll do a couple other dates, but uh, we felt kind of like the Tuesday change when we want to do it and have it within the same week. Also want to inform the board that on the 21st of homecoming, I will not be present at that. I have to uh, attend a uh, conference which happens to be in Chicago. And the reason I have to attend it, last year, uh, that same conference, I'm a member of the Mid-American Association of School Superintendents, and uh, there's only 100 superintendents in the country that are on that, and uh, if you miss two of them back to back, they ask you to resign your, your seat off that, and I would not like to resign my seat off. It's a great opportunity. Um, so I would like to attend that. So I just want to let the board know we're moving in so that you can attend, but I also will not be able to attend the parade. Because people do know that's a great honor because you have to be asked to be on that. Yeah, yeah so, so I, congratulations. that's why I want to hold on to it, so thank you, I appreciate it. So we'll send something out this week, but I just want to throw that date out to see about the 19th, and that'll give you some, some think time before you get my email. Uh, the next item might have be uh, this is really a first reading of the old policy 5330. This is a new policy. Uh, 5330 has a lot of uh, policies that deal with uh, epinephrine and so on and so forth. This will be a new one. You actually have in your agenda the policy and then you also have the administrative guidelines that accompany it as well. So we will be asking to come back next month for approval of that. Uh, like I said, new policy, it allows the district the opportunity to have um, asthma inhalers that can be used uh, for students um, that aren't bringing an asthma inhaler in, so uh, for a medical reason for one way or the other. The next item I will see, I'll turn over to Mrs. Rucker to share with the board. Um, annually, the Ohio School Boards Association has a capital conference, you're aware, and, and this year, uh, we need the appointment for the delegate for the annual business meeting at the Capitol Conference. So I'm not sure who did that last year. We have to look it up. But it wasn't me. I don't even remember us delegating anybody last year. I think Krista. To be so honest with you, I don't remember think it was Krista. Doing that. Okay. But um, we'll have to, uh, if you want, if someone would like to attend that, then let us know and we'll, we'll, we'll appoint. So we'll have you guys appoint somebody and we will get that turned in for you for okay. the conference. And you get a nice little shiny ribbon for your badge if you do that. That's oh, right. Okay. Oh, no. Is that glitter on it? You probably had glitter, okay. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, item D is flyer distribution. Mr. Gilding, do you want to talk a little bit about what we're doing with our, the change that we're making this year with our flyer distribution? Uh, for the public? Yes. Um, just because you may hear this, because this is a change uh, for our public. Uh, any uh, group that is not directly affiliated with the district, uh, we are posting online their flyers for distribution. So if somebody wants to promote an event that's not sponsored by the district or is part of a group or a club that's directly affiliated with the district, we'll provide that online uh, you know, as a service. Uh, and it's really an effort to uh, get their word out in a timely manner and cut down on sort of the paper that we have to or are expected to produce the paper copies and really frees up some time in our uh, building offices so we've started that effort that's great and yeah, we found last year you would walk out in the lobby and there would be boxes of flyers that would have to be counted out and distributed and it, it may be something it might end up being Centerville soccer uh, that they you know want to distribute and we have boxes of those so um, Ryan looked into it and found some other districts that just really just post those on so at the end of the day those teachers are yes I mean, your hands higher there were days I would have like secret different things I'm trying to hand it out the buses are getting ready to I'm like you got to take these home today so that's a really good idea yep. thank you <laughs> And item E is the last one. I'm going to invite Mr. Thompson to come up to, to the podium and share with you a little bit about the acceptance of bids for our modular classrooms for two of our non-public schools. Good evening, board members. Um, my pleasure to be here this evening to discuss uh, agenda item AE, 
which is acceptance of bids, use of ODE auxiliary funds for modular classroom replacements at Carroll High School and St. Lucius. Uh, we are currently working with SHB Architects to finalize documents to put out for public bid the demolition, removal, and replacement of modular classrooms at each of those sites. Uh, these modular classrooms are over 20 years old each, and they've lived their life. <laughs> um, we've worked closely with the Ohio Department of Education, um, and we've already received our signed pre-approval for the project. Um, these two projects will be completely funded through ODE's auxiliary service funds and cost approximately $384,000 of state dollars to complete. Uh, during this process, we've included key st stakeholders at both St. Luke's and Carroll High School to come up with the replacement plans and we'll, and we'll continue to include them as schedules are finalized to get the work completed. Um, so prior to next month's board meeting, we anticipate having all of the bids received and evaluated to provide a recommendation to move forward with this project. Uh, we will then be asking the board to approve a resolution accepting the bid tabulation and constructing documents for the replacement of the modern classrooms of Carroll and St. Luke. And then the work can begin. Any questions? Just Kathy, it's not for one of our buildings. <laughs> yes. It's not costing us a cent, so. Correct. That's good. That's All good. Right. If you think of any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, in closing, we'll have three of those items back next month for action. Uh, we'll have item one of the policies. Uh, we will ask for the OSBA delegate at that time for the board to approve, and then uh, we'll have the bids ready to move forward. So that concludes items for board discussion. Okay, thanks. We need a motion and second um, to approve the financial reports request. So moved. Second. Discussion. Um, this is for the first month of the fiscal year, July. So we've turned into uh, fiscal 2018, virtually, but we have started 2018 now. And so for the first month of the fiscal year, we are in alignment with the five-year forecast that was presented in May. And um, in October, we're, of course, gearing up now to get all of our um, expenditures and revenues in alignment. We did have the simulations that the state put out for the new biennial budget for state funding and it did look like that we weren't going to be losers in fact we were going to get you know a dollar amounts and um, when I went to a conference last week they said um, Mr. Rosh from the Ohio Department of Education said don't hold us to those numbers because it's still just a simulation so even though they publicized it everywhere that Beaver is getting you know money from this new formula uh, first of all, it's, it, 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 we're grateful to be getting some additional money, but we really don't know the full dollar amount yet. But I will hopefully know that by the time we do the five-year forecast. And um, again, we're grateful that we are getting money. I mean, I'm grateful for that, but it's still um, not yeah. enough. It's not enough to really um, help us not have to still stay on our financial plan that we talked about, which was we still have a renewal and. November and then the following May and then many the next November. So that plan is still alive and well, and you'll see it reflected in the other <coughs> forecast. That's all I have. That's, that's all I have. Okay. okay. Any discussion? Okay. Mr. Morrison. Yes. Mr. Morrison. Yes. Ms. Arnold. Yes. Ms. Hunt. Yes. Ms. Ravana. Yes. Mr. Taylor. Yes. Motion carries. Okay, we're on team business, so I'm going to make a motion to step in to approve the employment salary changes, leave of absence, terminations, job descriptions, approval of resolution for practical transportation, approval of type 4 transportation reimbursement, and approval of type 6 transportation reimbursement. And a motion and a second. Second. Any discussion? I'll just uh, inform the board. Uh, the last three items on there, uh, the transportation, the community of the list of students, those are 
uh, where we don't have enough students to transport those. Type the item C, the type four, that is a correction from last year uh, where we did not approve a family. Um, we did not transport them, so we are providing that to them now. Uh, and then item six is for a special needs student. That concludes that. Okay. Ms. Arnold? Yes. Mr. Taylor? Yes. Ms. Hunt? Yes. Mr. Morrison? Yes. Mr. Bella? Yes. Mr. Yes. 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 We're to announcements or anyone. Okay, so there's no school and all offices are closed Labor Day on um, September 4th. And it's Board of Education meeting it remains to be seen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That should have been a light. Oh, that one. Uh, that I was we're out of board comments and we'll start with Mr. Okay. Mr. Taylor. Um I had the pleasure um, the other day, I guess that was yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. With these cool glass. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Eats. Yeah. I can't tell you how much uh, it meant to the kids. I was in both uh, Maine and at uh, Coy as well. And uh, the main kids were like, wow, look at this, this is incredible. I can't believe it. And I asked one of the uh, boy kids walking in, he looked like one of those surly eighth grade boys. And I said, so, well, what'd you think? Wasn't that magic? He goes, eh, it was boring. <laughs> I think, uh, I think you said, to get dark. Um, well, I think, yeah, they all were walking with me. I think you, you told them, to, but this is going to be the thing you're going to talk to your kids about yeah. uh, when you're an adult. So. Uh, how exciting it is that that was uh, that was a really big hit and what an opportunity so thank you again well you were telling me when you were in second grade oh yeah i remember, remember that remember where i was standing i remember looking yeah so, had so. a box <laughs> okay this is time well i'm sorry for my tardiness my daughter plays volleyball for ankeny this was their first game and my husband's out of town so i had to do the mom put the mom hat on for that so uh, they lost but she played well on the team really did well for the first game so um, excited to see our kids back out on the courts and the fields and um, looking forward to a good start to the school year. Thanks. Mr. Morrison. I don't remember second grade but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do want to say uh, thankful, uh, thank you to everyone for a very successful beginning of the school year. All the reports I'm hearing everything is going well. Uh, open houses were well attended. Teachers did a nice job welcoming all the families. Uh, everybody's done a great job. So buses are doing a nice job. So lunch uh, preparations going well. Uh, it's a very smooth beginning. So thank you. Yeah, the back to um, school day with the teachers. Your video's gone viral. Just saying, oh, it's all over the place. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's the teachers are just great. And the, I have to tell you, I was in Valley yesterday for the solar eclipse, and um, when I got there, you know, I got there just as the buses were lined up. That's a really good time to get there. And um, the kindergarten teachers are coming out with their classes, and the, all the kids have their classes, and these teachers and these kids, you are not looking up, you are looking straight ahead. I mean, these kids were listening, and then I went to the part of the valley had the solar eclipse part of fourth, fifth graders and third graders over there on the other end of the building. And those kids were amazing. I mean, those teachers were every teacher was out there. And those kids, nobody was not listening. It was amazing. And they were so excited. This one kid came up and said, what is it going to happen? I said, her, it already did. She was I said, it already did. She said, I said, it's not going to get really dark here. Because they were waiting for it to get really dark and um, I had a friend of mine call me who had to pick up her kids every day at the bus stop her grandchildren and she said to me please tell the district Joanne she said that the bus drivers are awesome she said that was my grandchildren the bus they go to Maine and the bus driver had those kids keep those glasses on the bigger seat but they didn't want it to you know they want kids looking out the window with the wrong time so those kids thought it was so cool the bus driver said this is the coolest thing to wear these glasses. So on behalf of Tony Carey, I am telling everybody this tonight. So thank those bus drivers. They were amazing. So yeah, welcome back, everybody. And that's it. And um, we're going to executive session. So I need a motion to second 
to go into executive session for the purpose of court action pending or amendment litigation policy 121.22 G3. So moved. Second. Okay. okay. Mr. Morrison? Yes. Ms. Hunt? Yes. Ms. Arnold? Yes. Ms. Rivano? Yes. Mr. Taylor? Yes. Motion carries.